Deep Space 43 is humankind's eyes and ears into the cosmos, shepherding NASA's missions through the solar system. And there it is, Houston, there's Camelot, wide on target, I see it. So it's job every day, send commands to spacecraft, telling them where to go, what to do, what not to crash into. It was officially opened in April 1973 by Prime Minister Gough Whitlam. By then, it had already played a role in the Apollo 17 mission. To communicate with the astronauts, to track their spacecraft to the moon and safely back to the Earth. Hey Houston, the Challenger has landed. Roger Challenger, that's super. The antenna also steered the Voyager missions past Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and beyond. Voyager 1, the most distant spacecraft from Earth as of today, at 24.3 billion kilometres from home. The dish has played an integral role in NASA's Mars missions. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> Receiving the first ever images from the surface of the red planet. Deep Space Station 43, or the Big Dish, as they call it here at Tidbinbilla, is currently being upgraded. Its next assignment will be NASA's Artemis missions, taking humans around the moon in 2024 and back to the lunar surface in 2025. This has multiple color high definition cameras, so it's literally like we're going along on the journey with the Artemis astronauts and Deep Space Station 43 makes it all possible. This antenna is still a long way from its final frontier. James Viber, ABC News, Canberra.